Hey, good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss Pre Market Report for Friday, April 13th, 2018. I'm Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's the daily time frame of the ES. We have been coiling up for some time in this chart, uh, forming kind of an ascending type of pattern here. We have yet to really burst through that 69 quarter level, but we could be on the verge today. We do have earnings coming out here for Citigroup, Wells Fargo, we have JP Morgan coming out here pretty soon. All of that could begin to spark some strength here. And again, uh, the idea here is if we can push above that 69 quarter, you start to really make a run for the next major upside key level. That's going to be 2731. That's a, a level that could theoretically be hit in one day. So it could be significant once we st start to push through that area. Again, Always watch for signs of rejection uh, upon a breakout. If this thing starts to break out, maybe we hit 2,700 and start to turn back around. Uh, that could be significant toward perhaps moving toward the lower boundary. So, uh, still not out of the weeds here. We got to continue to watch it. Obviously, we have some rounded behavior here, and we could see some strength if price can push above those 69s. That's been the the case for the last few weeks. We'll see if we can finally get a run here pretty soon. If we take a look at the NQ, very similar behavior, only this time price actually closed above its 66.5375 key level, which is the midpoint of the impulse sell-off that occurred earlier this year. And so pushing above that point uh, yesterday, closing above it, today opening and retesting and kind of holding it right now, again, suggestive that we could see a pretty significant push above that level and again the next upside key level to test is going to be 69.17 quarter again that's a level uh, that may take a day or two to get there but it's a it's a it's a key level to shoot for uh, if we continue to hold above this 66.53 taking a look at crude oil you'll notice here that crude oil made a big push through the 66.29s making new highs uh, here today 67.76 the new high overnight you're starting to see some rejection or signs of rejection here pretty hard fall back below VWAP on an intraday time frame if you look at this midpoint here the midpoint is 67.23 currently and it's right near the recent highs where the breakout occurred usually that's an indication of some short-term exhaustion to the upside and perhaps could lead to a uh, reversion to the mean perhaps back towards 67 6507s uh, if prices can't keep above 66.29 so again, right now, a nice push up. We're holding up here, starting to show some initial signs of weakness. We'll continue to see if prices remain bearish. If prices close below 67 today, that could be an indication that perhaps we may be looking at some sort of short-term return back down. Overall, I mentioned that the longer-term trend is still up. At some point, we will start to really see major expansion into 7040 and 7450. Right now, holding above here at the moment, showing a little bit of signs of acceptance, but not really continuation. That suggests we may see a pullback before that type of behavior occurs. So we'll continue to watch crude oil here. Uh, nothing super actionable at the moment. Gold, this one's been incredible with the way that it rejected uh, those recent highs. We talked about 1375 just being a major area, major CLVN above. It's, it's a five-year resistance level, and... Uh, getting close to that level, getting to 69.40, pretty significant here. But again, by the end of the day, closed back below it. Yesterday, opened at the mid and tore down, closing below the previous session's low. And today, we have some pullback selling pressure here, which suggests we could see more weakness. Again, it's not the, the best to engage this market right at the midpoint here or right at the mid zone of this range. That's mostly a target. We could see a little bit more back and forth, but overall we could uh, get another round of weakness back toward the lower end of the range uh, in this one. And again, this trading range is very important. The idea is to continue to fade new highs, fade new lows until we see expansion. So further trading range activity until proven otherwise. I'm going to come back to Bitcoin today. Obviously, we've had a couple of big days here uh, yesterday and then today. Again, we did not quite get to new lows, and as a matter of fact, this five-day range was the smallest five-day range uh, that has printed since the futures came online. It was only 740 points, as suggested, suggestive of a breakout likely coming, and price tried to push down and failed and then burst higher, coming right into the pivot range from below. You can see 
pivot uh, based EMA still trending downwards, stacked and sloped to the downside. We are seeing some early push here. And again, if price can continue to hold the previous month's low and close, that would be indication that we could start to flow back toward 9K. So again, a pullback here could be bought. So as long as price stays above that white uh, line and white dotted line, we could be headed a little bit higher here, but I'm not going to get very excited yet uh, as this one has been very, very heavy and sluggish here lately. So still keeping an eye on Bitcoin. We'll see how con this one continues to play out. All right, that's it for now. Let's see how these play out heading into the rest of the session. Have a fantastic day and a great weekend ahead, and I'll see you soon. Take care.